How's it going everybody and welcome back to the vlog. So today's video is gonna be a tip or tutorial video on how to create those cool tiny planet images that you see people posting to social media like Instagram or Facebook and you downloaded the latest firmware update for the DJI Mavic Pro which gave you the 360 panel features and you thought yeah, you could just post those from your phone directly to social media and found out you got an image like this instead of an image like this it's because right now DJI Go 4 is a little bit buggy and it's only allowing you to post the final edited video to Skypixel and then share that to your social media. Well, I'm gonna show you how to kind of do it on your laptop. Um, it's pretty simple to do if you have the right software. Uh, I'm gonna introduce you to a software that is kind of the best uh, 360 stitching software that I've used. It's free, it's from Microsoft and it's called Microsoft Ice. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below on where you can download Microsoft Ice or you can Google Microsoft Ice and go and download it yourself. Um, but once you get it, you're gonna install it and then you're gonna open it. And once you open it, you're gonna click on Create New Panel. So once you click Create New Panel, it's gonna ask you to find a directory of the images that you've saved um, for the 360 panoramic images. They're gonna be about 34 images in those folders as versus uh, the other panoramic images that you've um, probably captured on your scene, on your card. So look for the folders that have 34 images in it and then click on one and then highlight all of those images and then click go or open and it will open those up in Microsoft Ice. Once they're open in Microsoft Ice, there are a couple different ways that you can create a panoramic image, but we're gonna go with the simple way. It's gonna pretty much do everything for you. It's gonna take those images, it's gonna kinda arrange them for you automatically, and it's gonna stitch them together for you into that flat panoramic image. So once it's created that flat panoramic image, now you have the ability to kinda warp or augment that image. But in this situation, we're gonna use, we're gonna use the stereographic um, option that is second from the bottom on the right side of the page. But stereographics gonna take them and allow us to warp them all down and give us that bottom view, fisheye view. So once you've adjusted your stereographic view, if you use the slider at the top right of the uh, image view field that you have there, that's gonna allow you to zoom in and zoom out on that image. And that's gonna pretty much um, uh, create the size of the, uh, the tiny planet that you are actually trying to create. So what you're gonna get is you're gonna get that tiny planet image in the center, and on the outside, you're gonna get all of the stuff that wasn't captured in the frame, which is all black in the image, and it's gonna crop down on the actual images that it's stitched together. But you can take um, the handle and manually crop down to a smaller square so that you get a nice little square for Instagram. Um, or you can uh, upload or complete the image at this point and crop it down later in a different editing software. After you've saved it and exported it, then you're able to upload it into different softwares like your Instagram or your Facebook and add filters, add cartoon filters, add color profiles, add stuff like that to kind of tweak and, and, and make it look better. The image that I just created was a little bit overexposed, so I'm able to go in and kind of fix that by maybe lightening and darkening and adding more contrast or stuff like that. But that's pretty much it on creating your own tiny planet image to save the social media. My next video will show you how to do it on your cell phone using a couple other softwares to get it done. Um, so if you're interested in that, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will get back to you soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the vlog. Talk to you later. Bye.